not taking the exit, just staying on the expressway. For those of you who are new to us here on Live Now from Fox, this is what we do. We move from one event to the next, taking you out to breaking news, live, raw, and unfiltered, whether it be in Chicago and Los Angeles. Uh, we are just out at that press conference in Texas. We'll be touching on all of the other top stories of the evening here, but uh, we know police pursuits everyone tunes in for, so we're going to stay on this shot here. Again, a stolen ambulance, a Chicago Fire Department ambulance. No injuries yet reported. The driver's still trucking along. And thanks for being with us here on Live Now from Fox. We are currently overhead a police pursuit of a stolen ambulance, a Chicago Fire Department ambulance. Uh, no word yet on yeah, it's going to be dragging. He's going to be losing directional control here. It does yeah. look like we have a bit of audio here from our chopper pilot. See if we can listen in just momentarily. Here, he's not going to have anything to have any kind of traction with. And. Uh, you know, you're you're recording internally, right? So I'm going to keep talking here. Southbound I-55. We're at Dwight right now. Ambulance 66 is coming apart at the seams, or at least the uh, back end of it, the rear axle. We've got the left rear wheel set, which is completely gone. The rims are getting smaller and smaller and smaller. We've got a uh, male uh, individual who is in there. He's dressed in a uh, looks like a blue windbreaker of some sort and a watch cap and uh, he was carrying what appeared to be a cell phone. He's left the uh, driver's side window down and he uh, came to a stop, a, almost a stop, south uh, of uh, Gardner, between about Gardner and Dwight and we're just passing all the exits at Dwight and we still are continuing southbound past Dwight now so we'd be heading towards Odell and then down towards Pontiac. So with uh, the left rear wheels being uh, basically out of the picture here, both the inner and outside uh, duels, those tires are long since gone, and now the, uh, the rims are progressively getting hotter and hotter, and that heat's going to be uh, conducted into the rear end here, and that uh, the rear end on this thing is probably going to be failing here in the not-too-distant future. This uh, vehicle is starting to slow down uh, quite substantially here. The last time uh, a trooper tried to pull up alongside, this individual gestured out the window, and yelled something at the trooper and the trooper backed off and then this individual took off on the southbound side of i-55 so uh we're uh, just just literally south of the last dwight exit and this uh, this vehicle is starting to drift down to where it's almost completely stopped on the roadway so this may be over here he's looks like he's going to be bailing out we've got the doors open the individual is out of the ambulance here now the driver is out Looks like uh, troopers are now have that individual. He is uh, going to be uh, apprehended here shortly. He has raised his hands in the air. He is following the commands of the state police. He is in the process of surrendering the troopers right now. That ambulance mechanically came completely apart. The rear end there basically failing after the left rear wheels, uh, the tires came off following the uh, orders of the troopers here was and now he's going to be taking off on foot running across the interstate going to be running across the northbound lanes of interstate 55 the individual carrying some sort of a backpack 
now running uh, southbound in the northbound lanes of I-55, trying to stop a vehicle, going to be trying to, yep, he's not going to get into that one. That guy's not going to fall for that. Here comes the canine unit officers. They make the tackle. They made the apprehension, and that individual is now being taken into custody. The dog is helping out. Canine unit is helping out, obviously. We have a recalcitrant subject here. This individual uh, obviously has been driving this ambulance for a long, long time, southbound on I-55. Jumped into this ambulance. This uh, pursuit began back on Interstate 55 right around uh, Cicero Avenue and has now terminated with the ambulance, the rear end of the ambulance, the rear axle and the rear wheels falling completely apart. That individual looked like he was going to surrender to police. Uh, he looked like he was at least initially following what troopers had to tell him, following their orders, and then decided better of that and decided to just go take off on foot. That individual is now in custody. This pursuit has terminated. Interstate uh, 55, just south of the town of Dwight, uh, by not too many, well, probably about a half mile or so uh, past the last Dwight exit. Uh, this individual is now on the ground and in custody of the Illinois State Police and a host of other law enforcement agencies that uh, joined in the pursuit of a Chicago Fire Department Ambulance 66. For those of you who are just tuning into the live stream, uh, we are over Interstate I uh, 55 at Dwight, Illinois, and uh, this has been a pursuit of uh, Chicago Fire Department Ambulance 66. And Ambulance 66, you can see that the northbound lanes of I-55 at Dwight are closed with troopers literally standing out in the roadway the ambulance is in the upper right corner of the screen where it came to a rest there after the uh, rear axle came apart. We'll go back in uh, tight on the actual apprehension here. Let's go down there and take a look and see what the officers are doing. This individual had a backpack. Don't know if this individual was armed at all. Doesn't appear so. Individual was carrying a cell phone. And now they're in the process of asking that individual, what well, you know, hey, buddy, what's going on here? You know, you led us on this uh, pursuit here. You took an ambulance and you ran away. You didn't uh, pay attention to what we had to tell you. And uh, unfortunately, you had to use some uh, force there in order to get this individual into custody. This is uh, Ambulance 66 out of Chinatown. It's housed with Engine 8, Truck 4, and Battalion 2 on West Cermak, Cermak at Wentworth. And uh, somehow this individual got in the driver's seat of the ambulance. There was no patient inside and took that ambulance for a ride and just kept going further and further and further and further south on I-55. At one time south of Gardner, he looked like he was gonna be pulling over since the left rear tires, the duels on the ambulance were actually blown out and was riding on the rims. He gestured out the window and yelled something to a trooper. And when the trooper came up alongside, he uh, basically would have none of that and punched the accelerator and accelerated as far as that ambulance would go. And basically, as the heat built up without the uh, left rear tires on it, the rims started to really get kind of molten on there. Pieces were being thrown, pieces of shrapnel from the rims coming apart were being thrown back at pursuing officers there. So they backed off just a little bit so they wouldn't get uh, damaged by any of the shrapnel coming out from underneath there as the rear axle kind of flew apart. And when that ambulance basically got to a mechanical state where it couldn't go any further south, this individual was forced to pull over. He got out, got down on his knees at the uh, orders of the troopers there who had him at gunpoint and uh, looked as though he was going to initially follow what their instructions were and then uh, decided better of that and uh, took off on foot, ran across the northbound lanes, tried to almost jump into a uh, quad cab pickup truck that was towing a trailer that individual would have none of that and hit the accelerator and that individual who was on the ground now fell out, our wayward driver, the uh, hijacker of this ambulance, if you will. And so our uh, suspect here is on the ground in the blue windbreaker and the blue coat. One of the officers at the top uh, part of that cluster down there has got a uh, dark colored backpack that that individual had with him. He was also carrying a, what was believed to look like a cell phone to me that he was waving at officers before and would imagine that uh, that's probably what it was, given the fact that uh, officers did not level their weapons when he had that out the window uh, when he stopped in traffic outside of Gardner. So again, we're on I-55 at Dwight, and the northbound and southbound lanes of uh, I-55 are stopped with the uh, termination of a pursuit 
of Ambulance 66, the Chicago Fire Department Ambulance, which now uh, sits on the side of the road on the southbound side of Interstate 55. We're on the northbound side of I-55, and uh, the individual that was tackled here who was driving the ambulance, uh, he was tackled after he ran away from officers and uh, was not obeying what the officers had to tell him. So they're sitting with him, having a little chat here, trying to figure out exactly what the motivation was and uh, making sure that that uh, individual gets uh, any medical attention that is absolutely necessary here. He is in custody. They just have not removed him to uh, any of the squad cars that are uh, back uh, parked behind the ambulance in the, at the uh, termination of this pursuit. Yeah, go ahead. Well, this has been coverage from Fox 32 in Chicago, live overhead. The end of this pursuit, that person, that driver, that male, now going to be taken into custody after a quick foot pursuit there. Oh.